Hey, today we're talking about the position menu. So right now I have some templates open. These are the templates from my Life Coaches Brand in a Box Eleanor collection. And so I have this open. I have quite a few right here, but we're just going to work on this one now. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things. So but the position menu is right up here on the top bar. If you click position, you'll see it has all these different options here. Um, if they are not highlighted, that means it's there's not anything that can be moved to, um, you know, aligned in the top, middle, bottom, center. So what I'm going to show you here, I'm just going to move these things out of alignment for now to show you how it works. So if I click on each of these, I'm holding down the shift key while I click on them. And then I'm going to go to position and now see how they're all, a lot of them, I have a lot more choices now. I want to align them horizontally and now I'm going to tidy them up. So now they're in a line like that. All right, and then you'll see that they're top, middle, and bottom aligned. All right, so now I can move them around that way. Let's say if I wanted to spread them out a little bit more, I could spread this out and then have those all selected. Click, um, click position and then horizontal, they would be horizontally aligned again. And go back, move them closer, Select all of them, position, horizontal. All right, then you can put it wherever you want. All right, so let's say we wanted to put um, something behind, um, you know, what we already have here. So we've got the this text right here. Let's say we wanted to put, um, we wanted to move it to the back. All right, so if you wanted to move this to the back, you would have it selected and you would position and you could say to back, that puts it to the back. Um, you know, it doesn't really make sense to put the text there, but if you want to move it to the front, click to the front. All right, so put that back here. Let's say we wanted to put the call to action button and see how it's behind right now, but we want to put it over the top. Again, you go position and you could go forward and that's just going to take it one step at a time. You can see that it's still behind that picture or you could just go right to the front from the very beginning. All right, so then if you wanted to al align your elements like to the left or center or to the right, you go like this, click, click them, select them, and then we're going to align the elements and then say to the left. So you'll notice that the text didn't move and that's because it is aligned center for the text box. So if you click that, align left, now it's all lined up for you there. And then here, if you wanted that box to come over to the left too, if you just click anything that is over there on that line, you can go position, left, and it moves that over too. And there you have it. That is um, a little bit about the position box. Have fun with that. See ya.